All right, guys, I'm out here tonight on my hustle because uh, what I do, see that, see that, see my badge? What I do is sell a street paper, AKA the homeless paper. Monday night in Michigan, it's kind of like, you know, a little dreary, it's a little cold, but it's not near as cold as it's gonna be Wednesday. They're predicting like below 45 degrees, 45 degrees below. So this is the thing. I still live in a hotel. I'm transitioning. I'm transitioning back into mainstream. So I have to stay uh, in a hotel and I've maintained it basically through selling this paper. And I'm gonna do another video on that because this has been like my lifeline. This has saved me. And not every city even has this thing called a street paper. Not everything, not every city has it. So I was blessed, you know, to be able to hook up with it. And then not only did I hook up with it, I learned how to sell it. But to every story, of course, there's always gonna be those moments. And this is one of those moments when uh, I probably won't be able to come out for a couple of days. So everybody knows there's this impending storm and they know that there are people on the streets. I have been visibly, and when you sell the street paper, people know you're compromised. People know that there are, uh, there's housing vulnerability. Not one person has come up to me and asked me, are you okay? I mean, not, I'm talking, not besides the people who are just passing me by and telling me, no, I don't want the paper. They're laughing, they're joking, they're going on about their lives. But no one has actually come up to me and asked me, oh, are you okay? Are, do you have, is your room secure? That is showing, that tells me just how disconnected America is with this crisis. I am potentially in crisis right now because if I don't have a room come Wednesday night, Heck, I don't know what could happen. I could easily end up outside because I don't have like, you know, uh, uh, mainstream housing where I can just go into my, you know, house and, you know, maybe I a couple days late in the rent. But I'm, I'm not the only person in vulnerable housing. And there are people out here on the streets and people, why the fuck are people just passing people by? Why the fuck are people just passing people by and not saying... Um, are you okay? Are you going to be secure? Because they know it's a big storm. This is not a typical winter night we're talking about. We're talking about 45 degrees below um, in, in Michigan. I mean, you can't, they, they're telling you can't even stay outside for 10 minutes without getting frostbite. 20 minutes. So there's this big fucking denial going on. People are walking around like, no, it's nothing. And when I ask people if they'll get the paper, they're just like, you know, like they always do. Nothing makes them connect. Nothing makes them say, okay, because people are in denial. They're in denial. They don't want to say this is a crisis. Uh, so here I am. I'm out here. I'm trying to sell my paper. Right now. What the fuck is wrong with America? I'm so serious. I'm so glad that God put me out here. I was a teacher in the classroom and I had no idea I'd ever be in this situation. But now that I am, some of those same people, preachers, doctors, concerned about the homeless crisis, you meet them in the middle of the night, a cold winter night, on the streets, and they pass right by you like in the midst of a storm. And I said before the storm, because honey, we got a big one coming in. And I'm trying to come out the last little sliver of time I have to sell enough papers to make my quota for Wednesday. And, you know, try to make sure that my room is covered. People are, people are sitting like in Starbucks. I'm so disappointed because they have no passion. They have no passion for, you know, for it being a crisis. They, don't, they are following the same pattern of their students, of their parents, I'm sorry. They don't want to... Uh, they don't know how to connect to homeless people either. They, you know what they do, and I'm this is a whole other video. But they connect with agencies, and the agencies have them to be interns, and then they sit and they, you know, file papers. Or if they're a social worker, then maybe they may have some sort of case study. They ain't even prepared to. Come.
on and on because nobody's prepared for it. Hi, can I get you to get a ground cover? So I'm just gonna check it out, check it out, and just see how people just walk right on by me. And uh, hi, have you gotten our special edition ground cover yet? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So not only do I want to meet people, I'm writing a book. I'm, 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 I'm writing a book based on the articles I've written for this paper. And it's not like I am just, um, well, I am writing a paper. People got my email, I got a website. Do you think anybody even contacted me by my email or on my website to see if I was okay? I mean, it's a huge storm. This is a huge storm. And then when I ask people, they're like, oh, I'm okay. Hi, have you gotten my street paper ground cover news? Sorry. Okay. You know, that's just, just so disappointed. I never have known that our kids were so apathetic and so disconnected from the homeless crisis. I thought they at least had a handle on it, but they don't. We should know as Americans, it should just be instinctively uh, built into our, um, you know, our, our way of doing things that when it's a cold winter night, you just go out and you find somebody who's vulnerable and ask if they're okay. And if you see somebody out selling the paper or you, that you recognize helps the hot crisis, then you, you know, you help. Actually, because I'm writing a book. My case is so easy. Man, if anybody helped me just lifted a finger, I would be teaching now. Paper ground cover news yet? Do you know about it? It helps people living on the streets have a source of income, but it also gives you information I can get managed to you. Okay, well look, I'm also trying to uh, make my quota for my room because it's going to be a big storm. I'm sure you've heard about it. I'm sorry, I don't have a couch. Okay, I have a couch. Well, that wasn't such a bad comment. I mean, there were kids. I'm talking about grown folks. Grown folks who say that here comes some grown folks right here. I'm going to ask this, this couple. Now they know it's a storm coming on. Hi. Can I ask you to help us ground cover tonight before the head of the storm? Today, sorry. Well, today's one of the most important days because the storm's coming up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. People ain't got no how people are just like, you know, passing me by. Not today. You bullshit. You, you know, this is a city. You got you to gotta pay just to come downtown. Go pay more for a hamburger uh, than, than what a paper costs. And it's, it's just the disconnect. It's, 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 the, it's not the concern or understanding that this is a crisis. Crisis to them are the refugees coming over. And I probably shouldn't get political tonight. I mean, the crisis right here in their own backyard, not a lick of concern, not a lick of concern. They just don't get it. So I, I think we got a long, long way to go with the homeless crisis. Some people, few people that get it we just don't see them but some people kind of get it uh but anyway so this is me out tonight i'm gonna try to hustle a little bit more try to sell a few more papers i've got a website people can reach me on there as well so some people uh, i was at first but i have gotten my business going i'm lit unlimited llc and uh you're gonna see a whole hell of a lot more of me how's that all right Peace, and I'll talk to you soon.